Yet another edition, this time on civic and voter education, here with uh, Star TV. Uh, we will not waste much time, but to talk you through uh, some of the activities that the Golden Bee Revolution has been doing in the recent past. Uh, we have gone into agreement with the Carnegie Municipality to engage on the voter education. And this will be widespread to different dimensions and different groups, institutions, non-government organizations, schools, women couples, and even those that are in the market. So in essence, uh, we are not uh, sabotaging or ignoring any section of the society uh, because this is a political right for every qualified adult citizen to vote and to be voted for. Uh, as a matter of fact, it is important that they are communicated in the language that they understand so that they are involved in the political affairs of this country. Uh, here with us we have a dynamic youth, uh, of course a very beautiful lady, uh, from the Patriotic Youth Association, the Gambia. I think it would be nice for her to introduce herself and give us a brief background of herself, her personality, and then we will go to the institution that she represented here. Uh, thank you, madam, and welcome. Thanks for having me. My name is Zarama Tejata, a journalist by profession and the assistant PRO for Patriotic Youth Association of the Gambia, which is uh, we, our aim is to foster social cohesion, patriotism and national security, and of course, peaceful coexistence among citizens of the Gambia. This is going to be an interesting conversation to uh, bigger position on one shoulder. First, as a journalist. Second, as an IPRO of Patriotic Youth Association. Madam, I will want to have uh, to take you through more on your association. Uh, the word patriotic rings more bell, you know, especially if it has to do with youth folk. Mm -hmm. uh, how have you been contributing towards the sensitization of the Gambia, or what, what were the focus of your association in the past? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Actually, the association is actively engaged in dialogue, sensitization, which is awareness creation among communities. The recent one they've done is with Faraba. They have engagement with the community of Faraba. They've engaged with the communities of Kanilai, and Busumbala, uh, due to the unfortunate uh, political disturbances there, which indeed, you know, they have contributed really in that to make sure that peace and stability is maintained. Because we all know peace and stability is, is, is a major key important thing in the development of the country. So if there is no peace, there is no me and you. If there is no peace, and when there is no peace, it is most unfortunate that it is the women and the kids that get most affected. So it's so very important that the association take it upon itself to make a dialogue with these individuals, to know their constraint, to make sure how they can maintain peace in their communities and with the people they live with. Very well, that is uh, quite impressive uh, from, but I want to ask this question. There is a word called youth in your patriotic youth association. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Would this mean that uh, your sensitization process is centered on youth or it is a diverse one? It's diverse. It's diverse because being youth, it, 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 it doesn't only have to stop at the youth because the, it's not only the youth in the country. We have the age, the young ones, the age groups, and the youth. So 
in as much as the youths are involved, but the, it's, it's more focused generally on women, children, elderly ones. So it's, it's not just about the youth, even though the organization, it's called the Patriotic Youth Association of the Gambia, but it's not only centered with the youth. So we, 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 we have youth among us. Majority of our members are all youth. The executive are comprised of youth. So it's a youth-led organization, but notwithstanding, it's not just here for youth. It's here for the general public. It's here for the Gambians. As patriotic as every citizen, you have a right to the contribution of your nation. You have a pledge to do something for your nation. So to be patriotic, this is the only way we can give back to our country. Well, it is in the line of that patriotism. Uh, that is why the Golden Bee Revolution have come up with, the, with this initiative of uh, staging a voter education and civic education to the people of KMC. Uh, KMC people. I think this is going to be a direct communication to you. Uh, you are one of the biggest municipality in this country, the Gambia. Uh, it is important that people are informed of what is their right and what they are supposed to do. 2021 or 2022 is just at the corner. 2021, of course, politicians will say, why are you taking it up to 2022? 2021 is just at the corner in December. Uh, we will go to the polls. Uh, initially, like even in the last election, the voter turnout has not been as good as it is expected. For me, it is only good if every individual is out to vote for political parties that you think mm -hmm. uh, best uh, represents your interests, your wishes, and your expressions. And the Gambia being a multi-party democracy, this is an opportunity for all of us to have a diverse opinion of each political party we think will represent uh, what we want the Gambia to look like. Mm -hmm. So basically this is the main aim of having this program. It is for you to follow, it is for you to uh, have your matters or be informed of some of the things that you needed as a municipality. So we want to thank uh, all those that are collaborating with us and Madam, your association importantly. Now, let's talk a little, because I know very soon uh, the timekeeper may inform me that we're going for break. Let's talk a very, very, very soon. Why do we think the people of KMC should be informed? Or why is this program important for KMC people? You understand? If you want, you can diversify your communication to the entirety of Gambia, because I know a lot of people will be watching this program. Mm -hmm. Why do you think voter education is necessary for a Gambian society? Voter education is a key role because, okay, many people are ignorant. Many have this belief that, okay, why do I need to vote? I don't have to vote because even if I don't vote, this particular person will win. So it doesn't, that it's your choice to make. Edu voting is the only way that you can be heard. Voting is the only democratic way that you can choose your leaders. So in as much as you don't want to vote, but it is so very important that you come out, then you're standing out there making talks. But if you come out, you can decide the particular individual that you want to rule over you. The particular individual you feel like, okay, this particular individual, the promises, the campaign promises he made, the only way he can fulfill that is when you go to the polls and vote. And you also have a right to vote and be voted for. So as long as you are Gambian, you are qualified, you are eligible to vote and be voted for. As long as a Gambian, as long as you're a member, or you are a constituent of the KMC, you have the right to vote and to be voted for. This message should filter down to Mbama Kafol Mealongo Alba Makedokon. Karefayomu Alla Nyantolt. Alwuli, Lilu Mena Karefe or Sita, Alata Alia la Katreol Fai, Mole Mene Alongo, Atelia Miraco, Nala Karefe Ole, Woleba la Nyantol Fasala, Alla Finaco, Wolebe Dila, a Poltigonian Daka Kairolti, a Yendaga Star Kairocono, a La Bankairocono, a Bankairocono, a Nia Yamoje, Iba political partito. Amanga Komengo ni Idebama political party mendo if an Yandakara political party. Amanga Komeni from our political party mendo if an Yandakara political party. Padu a political Yanda Tambila Wala. It any mena idea tara, Yandakara married a political party. So Niadin Ninkumu, Yinatina, 
the Golden Bee Revolution. Ni a program owner. Proga fale muna ala nyantolti. Al nyanta muna lkela. Pro ala nyinka refa yo menka nana. So that's it. <coughs> I'm a money girl. I know you okay. might you might be surprised <laughs> that how I am snail pacing okay. uh, to speak uh, on the uh, on the, that that f slow flow of mandinga. Mm -hmm. It is sometimes I'm very brilliant, sometimes I'm very yapa yapa. <laughs> I know. So we go uh, to the conversation again. Do you think the voter education and the civic education only has to do with voting? Like most of the time when you say civil educa civic education, what comes to people's mind is about voting, voting, voting. But I think there are processes that happen before voting. You know, uh, how would you want to sensitize, sensitize the community of KMC? First, which is through awareness creation, you, you make sure that people know why they need to vote. You understand? You, you educate them on, edu on, on elections prior to education, uh, uh, elections rather. So they need to know, okay, this is my right. I should vote and should be voted for. And again, there are ways that you could do that. You could go to communities, engage them, tell them what, you know, elections is all about, that it's not just about politics. It's a way that you could choose your leaders to rule the Gambia, to, you know, I don't even know how to put this, to make sure that you, you, your voices are heard, to make sure that you exercise your, your, your citizens' right. But sometimes we see that, okay, people, people tend to say, it's, it, though it's election, but the government is not doing anything for me, so why should I vote? But not knowing that it's so very important for you to vote, and then that's the way government will know, okay, this is what we want, do this, do that, do that, through your election. Your, your, your campaign promises. This is what you said you're going to do for the people. So that is how the people are going to vote for you. So I think sensitization is key. Dialogue with the people. And you educate people to respect each other's opinion. We all know it's politics, but notwithstanding, we are one Gambia, we are diff the same people. So it's important that we respect each other's opinion. This is the opinion you have about this political party. And that is another different opinion which I have from this other political party. So it's so very important that we, 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 we preach to people on how to respect each other's opinion and the likes. Well, this is uh, going to be a very interesting and very engaging uh, discussion. So I know it is one minute to break. Uh, Ramata talks about divergence of course we will have our divergent views we'll have our different opinions uh but in any divergence that is where we can pick up uh the unity that mm -hmm. the gambia is known for and that is going to be done through tolerance and that is going to be done uh in every way possible so this is going to be the golden bee revolution show uh when you come back from break we will have another dynamic uh youth of course a lady I think I'm the only victim here, uh, a victim for the fact that I'm going to be the only man for the show. And when you come back for the break, we can talk about all the details uh, as regards the civic education and voter education in KMC. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sunyu 
Sunyo reo la indamo Sunyo reo la indamo Sunyo reo la indamo Gambia la indamo Sunyo reo la indamo Sunyo reo la indamo Sunyo reo la indamo Banyo la indamo Ame ya karafa marema Bora ya kandila bankoma Namiro si tanyola Banco la nyanto titanola Fo atol tenanola Banco la doko ngatanyola Amunga amwala badola Fok nyu polo moy aduna Nenyu fate dembo ligete Ndamo sunyo rebu nyu yalme Sunyo rebu la indamo Sunyo rebu la indamo Sunyo rebu la indamo Gambia la indamo Jalore Abdel Kabir Usun Jai Senyor Jalibar Guyate Pature Usun Layun Jai Maudusi Musa Gompiri Pire Kuta Kinte Niño Isun Yundana Kondil Lendamo Yundamo When they all hate, I love my people. When the rain starts, I'm umbrella for my people. Dili kando kona kei roti for your people. Stay loyal to your people. My people are you people. Don't lie to the people. Speak the truth to your people. Ni pare taka lead. Wata pare ka far for these people. Walking on these people. Bank uta bank conference. So ni miti mbambalo. Hani Simon Fenja from you people. What happened to these people? Ain't there funds to these people? Organization on Catholic Leon be happy. Muka nga pa kwa days for my people. The taste for my people, fuck the system if the system ain't there for my people. Political people, NGO people, Fengwa Fenna Taiko people for the interests of the people. People, 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 with people. Yes, welcome back to the second <coughs> part of the Golden Bee Revolution show. Today with ladies. I call it la so, so with ladies. Uh, of course, I've given you a promise uh, that uh, when you come back, another lady will join us. Uh, but to remind the viewers and listeners, it is on civic education and voter education uh, for KMC uh, people. So we will not waste more time. We will give the floor to, uh, let me not mention her name. I think it should be a surprise for every viewer. So, lady, yes. you will introduce yourself to us. You tell us what is your name okay. and which association you represent. Uh, then we move from there. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon, viewers. I go by the name Ms. Fad Bintu Sala, and I am one of the members of the association. I'm very glad to be here. Well, I will have to apologize for avoidably being late. So I would like to take part, and then I hope it becomes interesting as time goes on. Uh, apology, apology, very, very well accepted. <laughs> now we Thank go you. straight to conversation. Uh, the Patriotic Youth Association, the Gambia, mm -hmm. What do they offer? Like, what are the aims of the association? What have you been doing in the past? Maybe you can give us a clue about that. Okay, very well. Um, one of the main aim of the association is to make sure that there is security in the nation, that peace and stability in the nation. That is our aim and that is our focus. And previously, we have been engaged in, in dialogue with community members, like. Um, in places and communities where they are, like, they are facing some problems like fracas or something. There is a misunderstanding among the community members with the um, security members, like what happened in Faraba years ago. And then also um, there was a situation, like, we, 
and, and also at Busumbala, when there was this political misunderstanding within the committee members, we always find a way out to liaise with the people and see how best we could um, try to maintain peace and bring understanding with, um, with the use of dialogue within the community members and also those that are facing problems, that are facing the misunderstanding amongst them. So yeah. these are one of the um, main events and main activities that we mostly take place to make sure that there is peace and security in the Gambia. Very well. I think you have a similar way of expressing it with the David IPRO. So I want to ask both of you this question, but in different ways. In the Gambia, where do you think, which section of the society do you think there is need for more orientation to meet the standard of the elites? Which section of the society do you think this board education and civic education is much more necessary to meet the standard of well-educated people? I think, I think first it, it has to be with the, not the youth, uh, the, the age from maybe 35 upwards. So that is where the most focus should be, and most especially with women. Women, it's so very important that this voter education goes to women because most of the time you will see some women that are, goes to the market. When you say go and vote, they would say, why will I go and vote? I have a living to make. I have to go to the market and go and sell before going to vote. So I think it is so very important that you, you, you educate them and the young ones that are coming up as well. You educate them to know the importance of voting and why they should vote. Well, for Masala, there is a problem in the Gambia, and it is called political party. Uh, the meaning of this is that citizens have little interest in the political affairs of their country. We will not talk about the causes. Uh, obviously, the causes are apparent. Otherwise, we will elongate the conversation. Mm -hmm. What is going to be your message to the people who have little or no interest in the political affairs of their country, especially in terms of voting exactly my message to them will be like this is our nation the gambia belongs to each and everyone living in the gambia mm -hmm. particularly the citizens so it is your voice voting it's like you are you, you are voicing out your thoughts and your ideas about how the country should be working so if you sit back relax and say i'm not going to vote Seriously, you, you did not even ha I don't think you have the right to participate in politics, like to be arguing about politics, because you, you have pulled back that one thing that has guaranteed you to, to be able to be represented. Because voting is like you're representing your thoughts. So you have to vote, because seeing the Gambia, you, you need to be patriotic. The law for the Gambia needs to be there. With that, I believe you won't hold back, because you always want to make that best choice because you believe it's the right choice. I think something from Fatmata, and I think it is uh, Fat Bindu. I think it's very, very, very educative. Uh, you know, very, very beautiful phrase. Voting means expression of thoughts. <laughs> what an accolade. You share the same opinion with her? Of course. If that is the case, some people have been told that uh, voting should be based on tribes, voting, voting should be based on religion, no. voting should be based on uh, gender. Uh, this is this is visible. It's visible to the blind <laughs> in the street uh, that uh, a lot of people in the Gambia are voting based on those standards. <laughs> now you have an opportunity to talk to the community of KMC. What is going to be your elaborate discourse on, on these thematic areas, the tribe, the religion, and the gender? Voting has nothing to, be, to do with gender, neither tribe or religion. Voting is you, you, you vote for a qualified person that you think he suits the position and he is qualified to represent the people of the Gambia, despite of his religion, tribe, or anything else, gender as well. So it's, it's not like, okay, I am a woman, nobody should vote for me because I am a woman. I, I, I'm wearing trousers, I am not fit to be a candidate. No, it's not like I am this particular religion, nobody can vote for me. Or I am from this particular tribe. No, voting is not about that. You vote for a representative. You vote for somebody to, 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 to take part in, 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 in the you know, development of the country, despite the religion, the, 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 the tribe, or anything else. Okay. But, uh, we have uh, this issue in, in political socialization. It is clearly that uh, we should stop turping from the tertiary levels, from the schools, within our peers. Uh, 
and other institutions. They believe that it's a grooming ground for uh, political participation and activeness. Do you think it is important for the civic societies to spread their wings of sensitization to the schools? Very well. Why do you think it's important? And I don't think it should start from the tertiary level. I believe it should start from the lower level. Okay. Because this is where a child will begin to learn anything that you need to grow up with. A leader begins with a child. Like, you, you have to be young. That patriotism has to be inculcated within them at their younger age. This is where you have the love for your nation. And if you grow up with the love for your nation, obviously you're going to be a very responsible citizen as you grow up. So I do, I do not believe that they should limit themselves at the tertiary level. That is the university. These are people that already have their matured mentality. They have already made up their mind about the politics and the nation. So for you to be able to, um, to change their mind, it would require a lot of efforts. But if you start it at a tender level, they will grow up with an ideology. And then it will, as they become matured, you know, the idea will have been a stronghold within them. I have two giant two lieutenant ladies seated beside me. All of them are expressing very beautiful ideas. I share the same opinion with you that the glass road should be the target for political education. Otherwise, if we will be educated at the time that we cannot mm -hmm. capture anything apart from putting food on the table. Mm -hmm. but when you grow up with it, it means it's a process. Mm -hmm. You know, this it's is a, a process. gradual process. Very well. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about women. I mean, this is a platform for the women. Mm -hmm. We have the women in the market. Mm -hmm. They do not have the privilege to um, have this opportunity for somebody to have dialogue with them. Mm -hmm. Somebody, that mother might be sitting beside the son who is watching this today. What is going to be your message to this lady that do not go to school and is a resident of KMC, of course, a resident of the Gambia? What political, what sort of political education would you want to give to this person? Do, I think I don't think they should participate in politics. I don't think because they, are, they do not go to school. Or you hold a different opinion. No. Why shouldn't they take part in politics? Oh, they, 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 so long as they are eligible to vote. I am urging everybody. So long as you are a woman, you are eligible to vote, irrespective of your husband telling you vote for my political party. It's not your husband's decision to tell you who to vote for. It's your choice. You have a right. It's not your son's decision because he makes more money and then he dictates you who to vote for and who not to vote for. It's your right. You have a right to take part. It's your right to go out and vote. Anybody that you feel like, okay, this is the particular person that I want to vote for. This is the particular person that I think will bring development to my nation. Go and vote for that particular person. Don't sit and wait for anybody to tell you go and vote. Oh, sit around and say, okay, go and vote for this particular person, and you blindly go and vote for that person. Vote for the person of your choice, irrespective of your husband, son, sister, and whosoever's decision. The choice is yours. The choice is indeed yours. She said it in a very clear term. Now, I'm going to you, Pamela. Yeah. Um, you have the men or women in the Gambia okay. in one minute. I'm going to give you one minute. They believe that whenever they vote, it is a waste of time because the results are not coming. Should this translate that people should stop voting at all and forget about participating in politics because you are voting, to a lot of people are voting because they want to see change. Exactly. And a lot of them are not seeing that changing. And as a result, they want to trample on that right, that God-given right that they have to have a say in the affairs of the state. These people are now listening to you. What is going to be your message to them? Okay, when you talk about change, I always believe if you want to see change, you have to be the change first. Women, when you talk about women in politics, we think our right is being limited to only voting. No, we have to step forward and take that positions. The leadership position should all, not only be limited to men. No, we can do it as well. Mm -hmm. We have ladies that are doing well. Look at Rungi Maliklu, the um, Banjul mayor, and also Dr. Isa Ture. She's the vice president. We are seeing, like, women are doing, I always say this, like, I think women should be given the chance to come mm -hmm. forward because men have done all what they could. So let's give it to the women and see the change. I uh, want to <laughs> add to what she's saying. It's yes. way beyond clapping and dancing behind men while they stand and give out their campaign promises and rallies. It's good that she said we get up and also step forward and take position. It's way beyond 
clapping and dancing. Well, that is going to be a debate for another day. Today, we are going to um, focus more on the sensitization of the people of KMC and the Gambia. This is brought to you by the Golden Bee Revolution. When you come back, we will decolonize, decolonize the stage, and we will speak in our local languages. Very and I think some people who are listening may not understand English this time around. We will speak the language. Before you go, let's take a promise. You want to speak Mandinka or Wolof? Mandinka. Mandinka, you want to speak oh Wolof? Oh my gosh, it's only Mandinka. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you. You understand Wolof? Yes. Okay, but I will ask you in English because if I speak Wolof, everybody will go out. <laughs> Maybe we will misunderstand. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. And this marks the end of the second break. Until we come back, very few minutes, we're going to have an extensive discussion and in our native languages so that it filters down to everyone that's listening to us. Thank you, Golden Bee Revolution. SD and Baba Senegambia. When they all hate, I love my people. When the rain starts, some umbrella for my people. Dilikando kona kei roti for your people. Stay loyal to your people. My people are you people. Don't lie to the people. Speak the truth to your people. Ni pareta ka lead, wata pareka far for these people. Working on these people, bank to bank conference only meeting Bambalo. Honey time, I'm fend from you people. What happened to these people? Hey, no funds to these people. Organization all can collect le on behalf. We can laugh, rock, rock, dance for my people. The taste for my people, the system, if the system ain't there for my people, political people, NGO people, 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 for the interests of the people, 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 rich people, stop using people, vehicle, 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 I don't let pop, feeding no. off, too much violence for my people, doku, TJ for my people, instead of doku, create or they build more jails for my people, it ain't fair to the people, ups on TJ for my people, when it's said and done, survival of the fittest for my people, my people. Freedom for local people, super cool people. Mukabala far for foreign people. Nundol malab jamala, just the mota with our people. Connection slow, but internet will be serving for my people. Who cares for the people? He the skins of my people. Muskonoma be fat and labor to the like they not people, you people. Upon your who are these people? I'm tired of holding it back, getting sick of you people. Voice of the people representing all the people. Don't you get tired of trying us? We tired of you people. Them of the people, for the people, by the people But thing I got like a sequel, they put guns on my people Where I put range on my people, they just strength for my people Back to slavery days, they put in chains on my people Your chain for change, together we can make a change We are looking for change, not pocket change, my people I see my people for my people Now I look around, I see my people against my people People, black people, my people, African people, my people, black people, my people, African people. Oh no, when you said that don't call me. Yes, uh, welcome back to the last edition of the Golden V Revolution TV show on discussion on uh, civic and voter education, KMC, the Gambia at large. Here with me, I have Ramata Jaita and Fadu Bintu, yes, who are all representing the Patriotic Youth Association in the Gambia, one as the IPRO and of course the other as a very patriotic member. I'm going to use the patriotic. So like we promised, we're going to change the, the dialect. Of course, we're going to decolonize this particular studio and uh, speak to the native language. First, we're going to start with Ramata. You speak the language that you understand or feel okay with you. There are people that are listening to you today. What is going to be your message to them, a general message? 
on the importance of voter education and civic education. Why do you think they should be educated? Why do you think they should participate and etc.? Yes. Thank you. Uh, I'll go with the Wolof, so you can go with the Mendinka. Sani Karta da fa ne ka lo hamantene ni ku ne ka sa warugalla pour muna continuer sa no ne ke domi rew and then also sa sani carta da fa ne ka lo hamantene sa bat la lo re nga am ci lo hamantene lo nga muna decide on how you know government be naka la mo mune yobu sa sa buga buga ak kan nga buga mu yobu rew mi all right that's, that's so brief that's fine uh, it's like uh, <laughs> You're just a little bit better <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> than myself. <She's> <laughs> I want to express in uh, in Wolof very clearly, but you understand that the studio has to go over and on again. So, but Fabian, we come back to you. It's going to be the same question. Okay. What is going to be your message for those flat listeners or Mandinka listeners mm -hmm. out there on why do they need to vote, the importance of uh, voting, and the importance of political participation? Hmm. I guess we have to forgo the fuller part. Let me just go with the mending. All right, that's fine. <laughs> okay, mbadi mending call kaya ya mwenye ambe mifika angaleka wala wala nyintu ko. Katri fo yo mwume nga alon kwa manjam fa sa yinten ting a suti. Uri lo suti ala tong ala la. So mbe mifala mbadi nga le wala nyintu ko ali mwume nga finti ni wato sita mwume nga finti katri fo yi kairo kono mwume yi si ya kairo kono nga batu nga jibi kum because nima election oldi. Mifu nga yati na yiko election o pru um fanko ñi man sa kunda ñi sa falin kayro ko nan ñi tankuma ko wala na election o ñi naata nak ba ñeje iko election o pour mo moy na nak ila miro mo minti ya 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 yitandi because election o ñi ko wala yitandi min na miro siata wala ka win so ya yel so mo be finte nan kayro ko nan ko ñi ka kayro ko nan nga ñoo nga ñoo nga ñoo nga ñoo fenke ba fala ñaadi la sa nga ñoo ya ya exactly nga ñoo ya 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 la na ko be ko tankuma ko nan ñi kayro ko nan nga dunga ko na kayra la nga finta ko na kayra talk to your fellow ladies to your fellow women to the women in the street to women in markets to those that are sitting at home listening to you today in the world of diet tell them why it is important for them to participate in politics why do they need to be decision makers and not to be supporting all the decision makers like you alluded in english language when we are uh, before we go for break neka jigen tahun ne do muna ti position bo hamantene gor dum japa do ko muna japa neka jigen tahun ne do gena pour nga dem sani carte neka jigen tahun ne da nga wara em ci tacho ak fecha bi dagn sona ci tacho ak fecha bi gori gena ci di wax sen wax di joxe sen campaign promises ñun ñi ci tacho ak fecha bi lool dafa wara je gena len ngem sani carte jël position ci boka ci politics da fo am solo torop famata like she said in wall of that are, it's not only about the women it's also about the uh the youth mm -hmm. young people also are not taking responsibilities talk to them tell them why do they need to be responsible to take the mandate mm -hmm. and uh, and steer the affairs of the state Give them that version in Mandinga in one minute. Okay, come here, come here, man. Nia jibe politiko moli amla politiko mukeba talde. But inko dinding wal ntel falam funding kelim falan dabi jela. So mul manya na katu keba alda ma bulakan. Because keba ning wali yela 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 balu kela fo pare. So ntel la binakan. Alnga alnga finti nga 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 position ulta nga itandiko keba alda ma manya na duna politiko kona bal ntel funding kelim falan dabi jela. Because right now ntel la fom baku ultim. So ni ntol mom finti nga voice ul mo te mo represent la so wal nga finti nga politiko kentat nga na bula kebal da ma bula ka yore bye sene so i think that is going to be the last part when we come back we are going to give uh, a flow to each of these people to give uh, their final statement the first uh, the last five minutes yes. and that is going to subsequently mark as the end of the program so we go for another break Thank you all, your beautiful listeners. Hey! You want to You want to hear me? No! 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 No!
I don't want to say you 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 don't want Mori keba. Ilana dal kali. Yes, uh, thank you so much. So we we have to give a final statement in any language you want, if you want in in English language or if you want in any of the native languages. So uh, let me start with the last guy, uh, yes. Fatma. Okay. So what is going to be your final statement to the people of KMC on the, the civic education and voter education? Generally. Okay, I'm going to speak to the whole Gambia. Thank you. That's fine. <laughs> okay, very well. What I'm saying is that um, election is fast approaching. Let us all come out. Like we sensitize the people. Let's have a dialogue. Let's negotiate. Let's find out. Um, let's let let's, let us not only be um, arguing under the bantava or at um, sitting places where people are chatting. Let's always um, try to maintain peace, talk peace, act peace, and do peace and. Peace to reign in the Gambia. Talk peace, act peace, do peace, <laughs> preach peace. And I think that's what we're doing now. What is going to be your last message, Aramata, mm. to the people of the Gambia, specifically the KMC? Yes. I'll call on religion, the religious leaders, political leaders, to always preach peace because peace is so very important. And again, I call on every Gambian citizen to maintain peace as we are known for and also. You maintain peace before and after election. When you cast your vote, go back to your homes. Don't instigate people. Don't provoke people. Don't carry out rumors that you know are not true. Stay in your house after you've cast your vote because you wait for your decision to be made after you've casted your vote. Thank you so much, uh, all of you, for coming. The Golden Bee Revolution will extensify its tentacles of sensitization to the communities, to the women carvers, to the market, to the schools, and other convergence where people are to uh, advocate for voter education and uh, civic education. In fact, we want to communicate that our target is about 200,000 uh, people in the Gambia, and I think that's a wide range. <laughs> if those people can also spread the information. Uh, before we realize that everybody will be well informed about why they need to participate in the political affairs of their country. It's just beyond only voting. Even by taking your radios, uh, sitting at your home and listening to political affairs are all good and are all necessary. We want to thank you all for coming and we want to thank uh, the listeners, the beautiful listeners out there for their cooperation. I am Mohamed Waidabo. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.